What's up, everybody? This is Eric the Tech Preacher. So if you want to know how to force reboot your Galaxy device, stay tuned for this video. I'm going to show you how to do it. Look, I know a lot of you guys that's techies out there, you already know how to do this, but I've been receiving a lot of uh, DMs and people been hitting me in the comments say, easy, I got a Galaxy device and all of a sudden it froze up or it went to a black screen and when I press the side button, it's not forced rebooting it. How could I fix this? Should I just let the phone battery drain all the way out and then plug it back up and see if it's gonna reboot by itself? Uh, it's an easy way on how to do that. And let me show you in this video. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So sometimes when you do updates, uh, if you playing with the device or if you playing games or you got a rogue app and all of a sudden you got a black screen and it doesn't come back on, usually people just pick up their device, they got a power button right here and if they hold on to it, it it's opening up big speed. But if you have a black screen and you don't know what to do next, and you just keep on holding it and pressing it and think that you're going to uh, reboot the device, sometimes it just doesn't happen that way, right? So I programmed my Galaxy Note that uh, if I press it, uh, it's going to uh, show up as far as it, you know, the rebooting option. But here's the problem. If you have a black screen and I'm holding it, it won't reboot. So a lot of people run into these issues that how do I force reboot my device? Now, I know a lot of you guys might say, well, easy, that's really simple. Just click the down uh, volume button and the power button together to make it happen. But uh, obviously, a lot of people been hitting me up and say, hey, easy, I'm having a problem with my device. It's frozen. I got a black screen. How do I reboot the device? And let me show you. So if you run into this problem with a black screen, you just press the volume down and the power button at the same time. What this does is it forces reboots the device. There it goes. Just hold it and what's gonna happen is force rebooting the device. And uh, so it turned it off and hit the power button and it should come back on. There it goes. All right, so that's rebooted. But what if you got big speed? What if you click on it is big speed? All right, so let me show you how to do this with Bixby, right? Same concept, volume down and power button, and just press it, hold it, press it, hold it, right? And there it goes, right? So that just forced the device off uh, so it can reboot, force reboot the device. Now, a lot of you guys might hit me up in the comments and say, easy, we've been knowing how to do this for years. Well, apparently, they have a lot of people that don't know how to do it because I've been getting a lot of emails and DMs saying, hey, I got a black screen on my Galaxy device. How do I reboot it? I hear it. I hear notifications, but I can't see my display. Now, one of the things that you can do is that uh, you can always change your Bixby options, right? So if you got your home button attached to Bixby, Right, a lot of y'all guys don't like Bixby. Uh, if you click on Bixby, it's uh, it's one of those things that people don't like Bixby. They just want the power button to, to shut off uh, the device. So let's go on to do this again. I'm going volume down and power button, and we're going to go to what's called side key settings, right? And right here, when you press and hold the power button, uh, let's go to change it from Wake Bixby to Power Off Menu, all right? Now you could also double press it to launch the camera or you can open up an app or open up Bixby. But in this video, um, I just wanna make this quick video let y'all guys know that if you run into problems that you have a, your Galaxy device, all of a sudden is black screen of debt and you're just trying to reboot it and you don't know how, push the volume down button and the power button at the same time, hold it for 10 to 15 seconds uh, or even more, it's just gonna cut off by itself. It's gonna force, force the device off and then if you hit the uh, power button again, it's gonna come back on. 
trust me, this is going to save a lot of people. Uh, I, I thought that, you know, most people would know how to do this already, but apparently it's something that a lot of people just don't know. I just showed you how to get rid of Bixby and I just show you how to force boot or uh, force shut off your Galaxy device. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Galaxy devices and sometimes you got issues and sometimes you flock to YouTube to try to see if you can get a fix for it. And this is why we make videos, helpful tips and tricks on how to make your life better. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.